So I always got more publicity than other people, and I didn't, it wasn't like I was trying. Immigration is vital to our future. This Goodbye. is totally controlled <laughs> media. All right, so yesterday we had a bit of a dour episode, but I don't regret it one bit. That is something we had to look at. But today's episode, however, is going to be very uplifting because we are going to look at the movement we've been waiting for for a long time, and that's a global movement towards the right. So in today's episode, we're going to look at Tommy Robinson's arrest and a massive event that he organized for today. We're going to hear from some of the people that are there on the ground. It's really quite the incredible event. We're also going to take a look at one snippet of the Joe Rogan Trump interview. Now, I'm not going to play the whole thing or go too deep into it. I'm sure that if it really meant a lot to you, you've already watched it or watched other highlight reels. So let's take a look at that snippet right now. So I always got more publicity than other people. And I didn't, it wasn't like I was trying. In fact, I don't know exactly why. Maybe you can tell me why. Oh, I could definitely I, tell you. He said a lot of wild shit. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he said a lot of wild shit, maybe and then is. CNN, in their all their brilliance, by highlighting your wild shit, made you much more popular. Yeah. yeah. And they boosted you in the polls because people were tired of someone talking in this bullshit, pre-prepared politician lingo. And even if they didn't agree with you, they at least knew wh whoever that guy is, that's him. That's really him. Yeah. When you see certain people talk, certain people in the public eye, you don't know who they are. You have no idea who they are. It's very difficult to, to know. You see them in conversations. They have these pre-planned answers. They say everything. It's very yeah. rehearsed. You never get to the meat of it. So I will say that that was pretty tongue in cheek of Trump to do. I know, I know for a fact that he does have enough self-awareness to know what he was saying about not seeking any publicity. Um, so I'm just waiting for the reactions to pour in on social media over that one. Still haven't seen anything yet. Uh, despite this being one of the more popular clips from that two hour interview. Speaking of what Joe Rogan mentioned that all these other politicians are using polished rehearsed sound bites. Let's take a look at part of Justin Trudeau's recent, well, some may say speech announcement. I call it a mea culpa regarding his backtracking on the immigration portfolio. This is exactly the reason why politicians such as Trump are gaining so much traction. Let's take a look. Canadians are justifiably proud of our immigration system. It has made our economy the envy of the world. It's how we've built strong, diverse communities. It's how we've demonstrated that differences can and must be a source of strength, not a source of weakness for communities and society. Immigration is vital to our future. And as a federal government, we have to make sure that that pride, that faith in immigration is not undermined. So is it any wonder that the left is losing ground when you have that lack of authenticity coming from its politicians, right? We all know Justin Trudeau for who he is now, and you have no idea how many people I see on social media now who cannot stomach the sound of the man's voice. They can't listen to his bullshit anymore. They can't take it. I can't take it. And I'm here making videos about him. and I can't listen to his voice anymore. It's so painful. All right. So let's take it over to the UK where Tommy Robinson turned himself into police, taking one for the team. We're also going to take a look at some of the footage that is already starting to pop up on social media of the massive rally that he organized. This is really something. This is something that warms my heart because we have been living in this bizarro fantasy land for such a long time now. And this is the light at the end of the tunnel. So let's check this out. What are you being persecuted for right now? Uh, the truth, the truth. No. Excuse me, which media are you from? All of them. I'm freelance. Uh, who are you from? Who are you from? Who are you from? Who are you from? Independent media right here. Who, who are you from, lads? Come on, you're all journalists. Who are you a journalist for? You? Mate, what's my film? Have any of you watched the film? Yeah, do you, not, do you know what I mean? Look, this is the problem. This are is, they silenced? They, 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 none of them will ever report the truth. Will they end up like you if they say anything? This is totally controlled <laughs> media. Yeah? And, and they, they, they know all I've done is report the truth. I've done what you should be doing. Yeah? I filled your gap because you're all f failures. I love your dude. Hey, hey, 
my cameraman. I love your cameraman. Come on, boys. Tommy, be safe, be smart. I will, man. See you later. I don't have Enjoy tomorrow. Hey, you may disagree with Tommy, but come on. Freedom of speech. They don't believe don't it. Let that die with him. They don't believe Tommy. it. Tommy. They don't believe it. You know what? Freedom of speech start with him. And now let's take a look at some of these crowds coming out. I'm telling you, today is not a good day to be cursed armor. I mean, the man has been attacked incessantly since he took power, and with good reason. He's right up there with the likes of Justin Trudeau and Macron. So, what can you expect? Check this out. Oh, and by the way, if you really want to have a laugh at Cursed Armor, I don't know if you've seen this footage yet, but <laughs> while he was campaigning, and I don't know whose idea it was for him to do this, this is such a bad idea. <laughs> I don't know how a politician can sell himself with this, but check out Kerr showing us his sweet boxing moves. Yes, this is good. And again, that's it. And again, try and breathe. Relax. That's it. I've up. I want you to take a look at the following footage and tell me if it looks even remotely familiar. It does, doesn't it? Well, what you just saw there was taking place as the captions indicated in the Netherlands. We have this problem going on in Toronto, but the Netherlands is a very, very tiny country and they really can't afford to give up any more space than they already have. I mean, if you've ever traveled through the Netherlands, I mean, let's face it, it's one of those blink and you'll miss it countries. It's that small. I still remember taking the train from Amsterdam going into Belgium and you ride through that country like it's nothing, like there's nothing there, it's so small. So no, they cannot afford to have an influx of immigrants and that's why they recently came out with hardline policies to buckle down on asylum seekers. Because let's face it, these days that is what's being abused, is those seeking asylum. They're taking advantage of the world's goodwill and they're coming in and gaming the system. The Netherlands have had enough. So the footage you're going to see is slightly older, but what it does is it adequately explains everything that's been happening in the past 24 hours in the Netherlands. Let's take a look. A photo op six months in the making. A government coalition for the Netherlands, led by the far-right leader Heert Wilders. So of course, the mainstream media is going to be referring to them as the far-right. Rather than go on a rant, let's take a look at what is actually the far-right. Check this out and look very closely at what the people in this video are doing. And you saw what they were doing, right? And I've got to be careful with my words here because YouTube and their crazy ass filters. So we all saw what they were doing. That, that is the far right. Just as we do not want a mass immigration problem, we do not want that problem either. So that is the actual far right. That is what we have to strive against. And now let's get back to the overview of this policy that the Netherlands have just implemented. Builders, who promised to stay true to his party's hard line on immigration and to opt out of the EU's new asylum system, even if it took years to do. So the first use um, the Dutch law and the crisis law we have uh, to make sure that um, there will be less influx of asylum seekers in the Netherlands. And um, that is something that we don't need the European Union for. That is totally compatible with European law. Wilders said the Netherlands plan to follow in the footsteps of Denmark, which negotiated a deal to be excluded from the EU's asylum policies. 
But an EU spokesperson appeared to pour cold water on that idea, but added he would wait to hear exactly what the Dutch government had in mind. You cannot opt out of EU legislation in the past when certain um, uh, discussions were taking place on treaties. Certain countries, in the context of those discussions, negotiated opt-outs. But we so let's take one more look at our bingo card on our way out of this video. One, Canada is seeing Trudeau out the door, but before it does, Trudeau is backtracking heavily on his horrid immigration policy, so that's a good thing. It's looking like Trump uh, might well make his way back into the White House, and that's a good thing because Trump will keep Trudeau in check for the remainder of his term, and I'm sure he'll also make sure that Polyev plays nicely and doesn't get too crazy with the immigration himself. The Netherlands is shutting down the show. Denmark is standing its ground. Sweden is standing its ground. Unfortunately, the UK just elected Kerr Starmer, so they're stuck with him for a while. But hey, I mean, Liz Truss lasted, what, like six weeks? So maybe there's hope that Starmer can get pushed out the door too. I don't know. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you in the next one. The Liberals are unleashing an internet censorship law known as Bill C-23. Even if they weren't, three oceans can be deplatformed at any time for any reason. That's why I want to invite you to join the Three Oceans newsletter. If standing up against mass immigration, excessive taxation, the housing crisis, and the woke agenda is important to you, joining the Three Oceans newsletter is the best move you can make. It's free and it will never be deplatformed. Unlike this channel and other social media accounts, the Three Oceans newsletter is no holds barred and uncensored. Also, you can count on your data being protected and not being monitored like it is on social media. So visit 3oceans.ca. Once again, that's 3oceans.ca to subscribe and beat the woke authorities trying to control the narrative like they control your government.